This dual clock system was made by the English company Gents. It consists of a master clock, which is a precision pendulum clock, the long case one in the background, and what is called a waiting train clock in the foreground. It's driving a tower clock dial. The problem that this system was designed to solve was the necessity to synchronise a number of large dial clocks, for instance, on a large railway station. And this is achieved by the waiting train mechanism. This is a pendulum device, but it runs about 27 or 28 seconds for every true 30 seconds, so it runs fast. And every 27 or 28 seconds, a mechanism stops the hands from rotate, rotating until a pulse from the master clock restarts the hands rotating, although the pendulum is always running. Thus, all the clocks are synchronised once every 30 seconds. Although both clocks are pendulum clocks, they require electrical energy to keep the pendulums swinging. In the case of the master clock, there is a mechanism which gives the pendulum a push every 30 seconds, which you can hear as the loud clunk. At the same time, the electrical pulse is sent to the waiting train. The waiting train mechanism is rather more interesting. There's a mechanical device called a hips toggle, which gives the solenoid a pulse and pulls the pendulum to its larger swing whenever the arc becomes to a minimum figure. The hips toggle can be seen here. When the arc reaches a critical minimum, it'll push down and close the contacts, thus pulling the solenoids in. The actual timing mechanism can be seen here. You see a peg has been lifted and the hands don't go round. Now the master signal comes and once again each pendulum swing moves the escapement one tooth. This device can drive up to four master dials at 90 degrees. There's the peg lifting. There's the signal restarting it. The master clock also has a, a remote dial which is driven by the pulses that drive the waiting train clock and its mechanism is an escapement wheel which when it reaches a certain point allows the solenoid to close pulling the arm down which gives the pendulum the energy to continue the swing. And this is the back of the master clock style, which moves once every 30 seconds, as with the waiting train. The master train, the waiting train mechanism and the dial belong together. They come from an old factory in Birmingham. Uh, certain parts of it have had to be replaced. The central glass in the dial was broken and all the uh, gears had to be remounted on a frame but all the shafting is as per original. The master clock is a later version but is pre-Second World War. We believe the waiting train 
mechanism dates from around 1918.